So this is Scott. And this is Jenna. And today we're bringing you Nacho Guacamole. And our contestants today are Lucinda and Rosita. And today what we're going to do is each of them are going to have unlimited time to make their own guacamole. And the prize is going to be 200 pesos. So let's get started and introduce our contestants. So Lucinda, tell us what your ingredients are and what's your winning strategy. My main ingredients are fresh avocados grown right here in Ojai, the place of Zen. So they're the best avocados in the world. I will add some green onion, some cilantro, Roma tomatoes, a little splash of lime, some garlic, which I've already taken the liberty of putting through the garlic press as well as my two secret ingredients a pinch of cayenne pepper and a little spoonful of corn chili and you think that's your winning strategy this is my winning strategy right here these two secret ingredients so Rosita what are your ingredients and what is your plan well my ingredients of course I'm going to start with these amazing Ojai avocados I have some lime, fresh, some Roma tomatoes, some red onion, some garlic that I will mince myself, some fresh cilantro, mm -hmm. and of course, salt and pepper. Okay, and what is your plan? My plan is to win. Besides that? My plan is, is that when I cook, I add a little something called butter love. So basically butter. It's not actually butter. But it's love. <laughs> well, okay then. Our process. Okay, Lucinda, so what are you doing right now? I'm just um, cutting up the green onion because it's my least favorite thing to do. So that's why I do it first, just to get it prepared and ready. So what are you doing? I like to prepare my avocados first. And why is so, that? Um, I just feel like that's the best way to do it. So I like to get them out of their little skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that's what I like to do first. These are nice avocados too. They are nice and fresh and perfectly ripe. What do I see you doing right here? I'm adding cilantro to my chopper grinder and I've decided I need a little bit more and so I'm going over here to get just a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to add some lime juice to my diced avocados. Fresh lime juice. There we go. <clears throat> Just gotta put a little muscle into it. Okay. And your next step? Well, I'm going to mash my avocados a touch with this here fork. Okay. Now one moment, I will be making some noise. Okay, so what are you doing now? I'm going to take my green onions, add them to the cilantro, in my chopper, and then just do two chops, just like that. I see you working on your red onion now? Yes, now I'm going to begin cutting the red onion. I like to get this done next because hmm, I don't really like cutting onions, so I just like to get this one out of the way. So I like to dice this pretty fine, so I'm going to just do this, and then I'm going to go in and dice it a little bit more even. And why, why do you do it that way? I just like small pieces of onion. I don't like them to be really large bites of onion. 
chopping my onions because I, I like them real fine. And you know, it would I'd be done already if I had brought my knives from home, but I don't think they would have passed airport security. <laughs> I like to just chop this up like this. It, it really just gets all the juices and flavors out of it. This is um, where the butter love comes in. So you've given up on the knives? Yeah, this thing, you know, I do have to say, the Squeezin' Art Mini Prep Plus, I've never used one before. I think I'm going to have to buy one for my kitchen. Just try to do this without my knife. So here's the trick. Oh, you do this. <laughs> and it smushes it. And then you can dice it up. Alright, so we're going to put some pepper. And then I'm going to put some salt. Then I'm going to do a little paste. And then we're going to see what else we need to add or not add. Oh, we need a chip. Oh, uh, yeah. We need some chips. Can't tell us if it, you think it's good or bad. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. You can't make any anything. Fun reminding it's more of it too. There you go. If it doesn't work, putting in the final touches. And soon we'll be doing the judging. Perfection. Now this needs to sit um, while we clean up because it will muddle all these wonderful flavors together. I call it marrying the flavors. Yes. They're going about to get married. Yes. It's the marriage of flavors. We must let it sit. Okay, so it's now the moment of truth. We have both contestants. Lucinda, what do you think? I'm very pleased with mine, although I didn't use the Serrano peppers as usual due to someone in the group having <laughs> some kind of tongue Geographic. Okay, yeah. and, those are and well, and you know, that's why I didn't use my secret ingredient because I mean, I could have anyway, and then just not eaten my guacamole. But maybe it's, you know, gonna be the problem, and I won't win. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, let us. Uh, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Now this one. Now this one. You gotta build that nacho. Yeah, you could use a spoon and put some on maybe because those chips are very thin. Okay. Well, when you guys get the dinner ready, we'll have a discussion. Okay. So, what did you think? What did you think? This one I feel like when I bit into it, it's heavy flavor. That, that's what I think too. I think this one has more flavor. This one is just a little bland. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. I think we have a winner. I think this is the winner. Go ahead. Um, both. We're good. I'm just going to say, is oh. Lucinda, sorry, it's not your guaca guacamole. The winner is... <laughs> <laughs> so you did one! So wins. you get 200 pesos. 200 pesos! So since Rosita won, she gets 200 pesos. Thank you! I'd like to congratulate you <laughs> on your win. Thank you, Lucinda. <laughs> and now they are best friends. All right. <laughs> Subscribe, like, and comment if you like this type of video. <laughs>
to see where I'm at. And I need some more garlic. Now, are you going to wash that spoon before you taste another good one? <laughs> this is my taste spoon. But you're going to put it. You're going to put it back into that guacamole without washing it. <laughs> 